Hey YouTube, I'm back once again with some more pickups. So it's been a few weeks. Um, I've got a few bits and bobs here. Uh, quite a few different formats actually. Um, usual Blu-rays of course, some DVDs, but also some VHS, uh, an HD DVD and a VCD, or a video CD that I've uh, managed to find over the last few weeks. Um, so firstly in, uh, which charity shop was it? Shelter, I believe. They had a huge stack of uh, VHS tapes for 10 pence each. So, yeah, I went through them. It was mostly, not mostly, but quite a lot of Disney stuff and, and kids' movies that I wasn't overly fussed about. I did get one. Um, and then a few other bits and bobs. Um, so, in no particular order, I've got... Uh, Madonna, the Immaculate Collection, a whole bunch of 80s and early 90s music videos. So, uh, yeah, for 10p, that was a, a bargain. Uh, Star Wars, digitally remastered. Um, this was a, a version on VHS that I didn't have. I believe this is still the theatrical release um, prior to the special editions. In fact, it is. Um, it's a full screen, I believe, not a widescreen version. Uh, but yeah, 10p. Uh, Lady Chatterley's Lover. Been a very long time since I've seen this. Um, I'm just going to open all these, but never mind. Um, yeah, an RCA from probably back in the 80s. Uh, very shiny Jim Davison stand up. Jim Silver Jubilee. Um, it's been weirdly in a slip box. We don't see that very often with VHS tapes. And then finally, some Scooby Doo. Uh, Scooby Doo and the Mummy 2. Two Scooby Doo classic capers. rewinding that one yeah so it's just a few vhs for basically 50 pence for all of those that was okay um come back to that one uh vcd that i got off ebay i believe um for a few quid uh, the heart of cdi home cinema um i haven't tested this yet actually because my my vcd my vcd player isn't set up um, but I'm not sure whether this is specifically for the CDI or whether it will work on other VCD players as well. Because um, I know some CDI titles were um, only would only work on the CDI, even though they were VCD, it was still propriety to the CDI. Um, and I'm not sure if that's one of these titles or not. So it's got CDI all over the the uh, the artwork, but not so much on the disc. Yeah, so I need to, I really need to test that one. And a few uh, DVDs, mainly from the trade shops, but not entirely. These were three for a pound, I believe from uh, British Red Cross, British Red Cross, I have to think for a minute there. Um, a Life Less Ordinary in a Super Jewel case. One of those to add uh, a sealed copy of Singing in the Rain um, in a snapper case, which um, I knew I had this on DVD, but I couldn't remember whether I had it as a snapper. But I was certain that it wasn't sealed because I've only got a couple of sealed snappers. Uh, as it turns out, I didn't have the snapper edition of this, yeah, the, the standard DVD, and then some Chubby Brown uh, Get Fit, Get Fat Live. Uh, I haven't seen this one yet. Um, then these also came from um, British Red Cross again, three for a pound on a different day. Um, so we've got Hancock's Half Hour volumes one, two, and three. Um, I used to watch these not so much as a kid, 
I guess so, but uh, back in the early 80s, I guess these were repeated on probably BBC Two. Um, I quite enjoyed them, so, uh, I, but then I was always a big fan, not so much of, I mean, I liked Hancock, I was always a big fan of Sidney James, you know, from the Carry On movies. Um, but yeah, I, uh, happy to have grabbed them, you know, all for a, a quid. Uh, and then I was in HMV, um, looking really for Father's Day presents and, um, part of, my, my, my dad's father's day present I, I found a dvd and it was it was in the two for ten pounds i thought what else can i get even though it's, it was only five ninety nine. i thought it's two for ten pounds let's have a look for something else um h and have a bunch of doctor who dvds as in two for ten pounds so just to make it up to the two for ten pounds um i got doctor who and the aztecs um with william harnell uh, i don't have much of his era on dvd so uh yeah grab that one and then a couple more dvds i got on ebay um i think they only paid about three pound or plus postage for these um and the first one this one i already have actually on blu-ray i have i have this i already have two copies of this on dvd i've got the the uh, the full screen and the widescreen versions uk releases but this is a us release but i only got this because i've been looking for Weekend at Bernie's 2. Um, finally found a copy that was cheap enough, even though it came with that as well. Um, so yeah, I grabbed that. One of these, yeah. So Weekend at Bernie's 2 is a, a flipper disc, and the first one is just a standard. Again, they're, they're both region one. Uh, and they both got the inlay cards as well, which you don't see these days with DVDs. Um, before I go on to the Blu-ray, uh, several weeks ago, more than a month ago in fact, I ordered an HD DVD from HD DVD Revived. And after two weeks, I'd heard nothing from them. And actually, there was a post on Facebook um, that somebody else had started about HD DVD Revived. And uh, I just happened to mention on there that I'd ordered something and... Um, heard nothing from them the tech payment heard nothing from them and because someone was questioning you know is the is the website still alive and i thought maybe it's not anyway i got into a little bit of a discussion on um probably was going to have to put a claim in through paypal to get me money back because uh yeah i would not heard anything and suddenly i got an email from somebody from uh ht dvd revived uh, and within a couple of days, it had been shipped from the Czech Republic. Why from there? I don't know. Um, I, I'm going to do a video on this title because I've got so much to say. It's, yeah, it's White Glove Massive. I'm not even going to say anything about that right now. Um, I didn't hate the movie. The movie, the movie itself is not my problem with this release. Um, but yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to say any more about that because I have a lot to say. Uh, then the Blu-rays, we've got a mixture of uh, eBay, HMV, uh, CEX and cash converters. So a couple that I've got off eBay. Um, this was so cheap. Uh, iZombie Series 1. I've been, I've been keeping my eye out for a while for for these. Uh, seasons one I have seen, the rest I haven't. Um, I enjoyed it and for some reason when season two came out, I kind of missed it, missed the start of it and never, never caught up. And uh, these often sell for, you know, £20 plus. But occasionally Momox have one on and usually it's about £11 or £12 and I always keep a watch when one goes up and suddenly this one was discounted to like £6.40 something. So, uh, yep, I'm having that. It's a uh, three-disc set. It's got a booklet, although it's all in German, coming from Germany. Um, sadly, it doesn't have uh, reversible artwork to get rid of the, the ratings. And it's not a sticker either. So I'll just have to live with that. But, yeah, I'm happy to get that. I just need to find the, the rest of the, the seasons for that. Uh, 
this um, I came across uh, by accident. I think it was recommended because I wasn't searching for this. Uh, I've got the Monster Squad um, on Blu-ray. This is a US to Region A release. I paid only about £12, just over £12 for this. Um, I haven't looked since I got it or since just after I got it. Um, but at the time, it was the cheapest one that sold on eBay. Uh, for quite a while and I, I don't know why because it was an auction it wasn't a buy it now and just nobody seemed to bid on it well nobody I think there was two other bidders um, and I put my bid in right at the end and uh, yeah I grabbed it so I was really happy really happy to get that uh, then from cash converters a couple of separate trips uh, over the last couple of weeks in cash converters um, Firstly, or rather lastly, um, this was the last one I bought, uh, Kung Fu Panda 2. Um, this is a triple play, so it's a, a DVD, uh, digital copy and Blu-ray. Uh, so it's a couple of discs. I think, I can't remember whether I've got Kung Fu Panda 1 or not. I might have, I might have one of them on 3D, I honestly can't remember now. Um, but I do like these films. Um, the third one wasn't as great as the others, but uh, yeah, they're not bad. Um, this I was surprised at uh, one pound twenty-five. I did. Did I show the price on that one? That was ninety-nine p. Uh, one pound twenty-five. Sexy Beast. Uh, I do have this on HD DVD, but uh, yeah, for one pound twenty-five, I had to grab that on on Blu-ray. Box is a little bit broken. Um, so I need to find a new case for that. Uh, yeah. Uh, and Fury with Samuel L. Jackson. This this is a pound, or was a pound, should I say? Um, now CX do sell this for fifty p. Um, but when I looked, there was only three in the whole country that had it, and the nearest one I think was in Sheffield. So I thought, well, you know, it's it's a pound. It's fifty p more. Um, maybe I'll pick it up. I could have picked it up in CX at some time in the future, but I grabbed it. It was only a quid. Uh, then a few weeks ago, probably in the last video actually, I had got a couple of John Wayne Blu-rays in, uh, in one of the charity shops. And I traded them in for £14. It cost me £1.50 each, so I paid £3 for them, traded them for 14 and for that £14, pounds, um, I, I'd, I had spotted this a week earlier and thought, yeah, I'm definitely going to go back and get it. Um, Firefly on Blu-ray. Uh, it was £8 when I saw it. And then when I went back, it had been discounted down to £6. Um, I see this quite often in CX and I've been holding out for one till I find one with a slipcover. And finally, I found one with a slipcover. Uh, for six pounds, I think it's a bargain. I love this show; it's such good fun, and the fact that it was cancelled so quickly is a travesty. Uh, and then the other one I got is a, an eighty-eight films release um, of uh, Lurking Fear. Uh, came with a black case, so I don't need to find another one for that one. Uh, Eight pounds. Um, I I used to own this years ago and sold it when I needed some cash um, and I can't honestly remember whether it came with a booklet or not I know some, some releases from 88 films do and some don't these days it's usually the limited editions of the first pressings much like Arrow that come with the booklets um, when this came out they were a little little more flaky when it came to, to putting booklets in releases and some did and some didn't and honestly I can't remember whether that did or not yeah, so these next two uh, got on a separate trip to uh, to CX um, and pretty much got them because they were cheap. Um, and actually, one one I got because I hadn't seen it. Um, the other one's sort of part of a collection, I suppose. Um, so firstly, Midway, um, which was only three pounds, um, and yeah, I haven't seen this one. Uh, it's got 
it looks like it's got a pretty decent cast in there. Um, I haven't heard much either way about this, whether it's good or bad, but it looks a pretty epic war movie, and uh, I do like a, a good epic war movie. So, uh, yeah, I look forward to checking that one out, because I've got it with the slip cover. Um, the disc is pretty much the same as, uh, as the front cover. And then I've got... Once again, I've got the 3D, but I got gravity. Um, this time with the Iconics Moments uh, slipcover. Um, they did have another one on the show. In fact, they had two others on, on the day that I got this. 2001, which I already own in this range. Um, but they also had Arrival, which I think was £2 or £2.50, which I didn't have. I do have the film, but I didn't have the, the Iconic Moments version. But it had a, a big crease right the way down the front of the cover. As if someone had folded it in half, but there wasn't one on the rear cover, which was weird. It was as if someone had literally taken the slip cover and bent it out on one side without two doing it on the other side and somehow folded it. And it was it was weird how it had been done, but yeah, with that kind of damage I yeah, I passed. And hopefully I'll come across another one of those. But uh, yeah, I do like collecting these iconic moments and, and, and other um slipcover variants of uh, of various releases um uh, and we're getting close to the end now these last couple one i spotted in hmv that i didn't even know it had been released um uh, it's another another 88 films release according to their website it's in their coming soon section and it's listed as uh like they do with most of their pre-orders at £888 until they're ready to actually put it up for sale. That's sort of a placeholder that they use to stop people from ordering it too early. Although they do have a uh, a disclaimer saying if you order it at this price it's, and it uh, when it comes down, um, you won't get a refund. Uh, but yeah, this is the Erotic Ghost Story, uh, the limited edition. Um, when I spotted this, I was, like I said, I was shocked to see it because I didn't think it would come out. And I had a quick look online. Um, Zavi didn't have it listed. HMV didn't have it listed. And like I say, 88 Films have it listed as uh, as coming soon. But then when you actually click on it, it says out of stock, um, standard version uh, available soon. So I'm wondering if this has actually been on sale at 88 films and now sold out um it's showing if i remember rightly it was showing on amazon but not in stock at amazon which means either it's uh you know, you, even when it's on pre-order normally you can buy it um but sometimes on amazon things you know when arrow titles go up they go up on the site even though they're not ready for pre-order and you've got a little button to press that says email me when this is available to buy um so yeah it didn't seem like this was and i only did a cursory check but it didn't seem like this was uh available to buy online anyway so i yeah uh, i bit the bullet they only had the one so i paid full price 24.99 um but yeah like i say it's the limited edition uh and I'm chuffed that it's in the collection. Uh, it matches, I guess, size-wise, it matches the, uh, was it Zombie Zombie 5 release that came out a couple of weeks ago. And there's another one that hopefully is in one of those boxes um, that will have a similar uh, size case to this as well. Um, and then finally... Uh, this appeared on Amazon a few weeks ago, or a couple of weeks ago, discounted to eight ninety nine. I did try ordering this on uh, on Music Magpie when they had it at a ridiculous price, and they they cancelled the order, unfortunately. Uh, but this is the limited edition Eric the Viking. Uh, now apparently there was a problem with the discs on this. Um, now hopefully that's been fixed and this is the version that has the good disc inside um i need to do some uh, a little bit of research on that and find out 
whether that is the case or not and, and what the actual problem is with the discs that uh, I can maybe diagnose if if this disc is the one with the problem but yeah I'm really happy to have this I've been looking it for for it for ages on Arrow because Arrow did a, a DVD version I do have the Arrow the the older release DVD from Arrow um, So I do have this version from Arrow, um, the director's son's cut, which is a, a two disc set. Looks like the glue's coming away on there. There's that little pamphlet there. Um, yeah, so this is a two disc set from, I don't even know when this came out, probably in the, uh, the late noughties. Um, but since then, They've released one in a, a similar case to this. It's been Christmas Eve, but uh, they did a whole range in these white cases with the, the white border. Um, and the, they all had matching discs. Most came with either a booklet or a poster or a booklet and a poster. Um, so there is a, a version of Eric the Viking, this style that I've been looking for for quite some time. And it's... Uh, when they do appear on eBay, they're usually really expensive. So uh, I've been sort of trying to keep my eye out in CX for one of these, but as yet, I've never seen one. Unfortunately, when I say one of these, I mean the, the Eric the Viking version. Unfortunately, uh, CX don't distinguish between that version and the version that comes like this. So when you see them online, it could be either one, and it's more likely going to be this one, I think. The, this one I have seen in store once or twice, but like I said, this this version in the white case, I have as yet never come across. And I think it's pretty cheap in CEX, um, probably because there are two versions. Um, yeah, but uh, haven't come across it. So that's that's my pickups for the last uh, must be like three weeks, I guess. Um, like I say, I've got these two packages, both from 88 Films, that I'm going to unbox in a different a different video. That one I did open because I thought it was something else. Um, when I looked at that box, that box seemed too small for what was purported to be inside, but as it turns out, it wasn't. Um, yeah, I thought it was something something completely unrelated to, to movies, which is why I opened it. And... Uh, I only took a quick glimpse inside before I realised what it was and, and didn't go any further. So I, I'll still be able to have a proper look at what's in there when, when I make a video, which I'm going to do right now. So yeah, thanks very much for watching once again. Uh, what code can we use for the end of this video? Hmm. Ooh. 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 How about Wolfman Got Nards? If you know what I'm talking about, then you know. If you don't, you don't. But uh, yeah, if you want to put that in the... Uh, <laughs> if you want to put that... Uh, yeah, if you want to put that in the comments below, um, feel free to show that you got to the end of the video. Um, otherwise, uh, don't worry. Uh, thanks very much for watching once again, and I'll catch you next time. Ta